what do you think the defense has to do to get on to get back on track here? Well, I think uh, as far as the last game goes, you saw a defense that was resilient. You know, we fought until the last fourth down. Um, I think we've uh, continued to get better with the little things, you know, finishing on tackles, uh, pursuing to the ball, uh, being physical, things of that nature. So I think as long as we keep pushing the needle in the right direction, that we'll be all right. Kyle, you're closing in on some vanity passing records. What do you think about the big numbers you've been putting up with? How's that come about? Um, you know, I try not to think about that because at the end of the day, it's about wins and losses. And, um, you know, it's a team game. And, uh, you know, I'm just focused on trying to you know, help my team win uh, this week against Western Kentucky. Is it an indication that the offense is clicking better than when you first got the start position? Um, you know, like I said, it's a team game. So, I mean, obviously the passing game has grown over the past few years. But... I think just that, that's how it's shook out with you know guys with experience and chemistry growing um, throughout the past few years. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's just about winning games, and uh, you gotta get back on track this week. Darius, the first two games you guys have played against Western Kentucky the last year, so both been you know really good games come down to the very end. Is that the kind of thing you're expecting on Saturday? Something that could be you know really really competitive start to finish? You know, we always expect to play a very competitive game. I think that's our mindset going into every game is to be competitive. Uh, to outcompete and to outlast our opponents, uh, to take games into the fourth quarter, and then to win those uh, fourth quarter battles. Uh, I think that's been our mindset since the beginning of the season. Kyle Kalajalipska made that kind of David Tyree-esque catch uh, on last Saturday. I mean, what, what can you say about the way he's developed as a wide receiver and as a, uh, as a target for you? Yeah, he, um, you know, it's his second year, um, <coughs> especially in those first two years of playing, you know, you gain experience, you gain, you know, uh, well, knowledge of the game, and you fine tune a lot of details. And uh, you know, collages come up big um, throughout the season, and uh, I think you're going to continue to see great things out of him. For both of you guys, just how badly does this team need a win just to get back on track and get confidence back? That's the reason why you play the game is the win. You don't play to lose, so you know it's very important that we get back uh, to gaining those wins. Uh, but I think we're going in the right direction. You know, wins are hard. Especially in the SEC, wins are hard. And, you know, you just have to eliminate those tiny mistakes. Uh, it's the little things uh, as we continue to reiterate. It's the little things. And as long as we keep pushing in the right direction, we'll be fine. Oh. <coughs> yeah, same thing. Um, you know, we got to take it one week at a time. Um, we're on to Western Kentucky, and our full focus is going on what I know this week. And, uh, you know, you play a game to win and uh, nothing else. If, you do, if you're playing for anything else, I think you're playing for the wrong reasons. So, um, you know, just like every week, we need to win. So, yeah. Speaking of that, in this streak, losing streak, has there been uh, a team meeting or anything to boost morale, uh, to keep from losing hope? I think we've all st stuck together, uh, you know, real close. I think we're, a, you know, very tightly knit team. I think everybody's, you know, stay together. And, uh, you know, we're, we're heading in the right direction. And uh, I think that, you know, uh, we got to get a win this week. And I think it'll be, um, yeah, so that's a full focus, just getting on a win this week. Well, Darius, it seemed like getting into a bowl game was more of the expectation rather than the goal this season for this team. You have three wins now, got four left to get to bowl eligibility. Is that kind of, that reality kind of set in? And you kind of, is that creeping into the back of your head, that bowl, that six win mark? Uh, no, I don't. We don't. We try not to look that far ahead in the season. We try and go one and zero every week. Uh, so, as far as now, today, this week, we're going one and zero against Western Kentucky. So I think that's where our focus is set. When that time comes, we'll focus on that. But the goal is always going one and zero. Kind of Mike White said you guys became pretty good friends working at the main academy together. Just what do you like about Mike as a person and as a quarterback? Yeah, he's a he's a real cool guy. Um, you know, great quarterback as you see. Um, you know, a great person. It's uh, you know not a surprise that he's having success over there. Great person. Uh, I can I expect him to be a great leader. The way he's uh, you know he handles himself and yeah, he's a good guy. And I enjoyed you know spending time with him at the mini camp. Kyle Derrick said Ralph and Kari were moving around a little bit of practice today. Are, are you kind of preparing that maybe there's a chance you might not get to use those guys in your in the offense this week? You know, we have a next man up mentality. Um, Injuries are a part of this game, so if we have them back, great. If not, um, you know, other guys are going to step up. So everybody's preparing hard, and, uh, you know, we have an next man up mentality, so you can't, you know, I just got to focus on doing my job and helping the guys that are out there. And, uh, you know, 
we hope they're back. But if not, we're gonna you know keep this thing moving forward. One or two more. You you heard about Kyle talking about West Kentucky's quarterback. If you ever watched Dick film, I understand, mm-hmm. but you know what you're getting and having to face him. He's he's pretty good, isn't he? He is. Yeah. Uh, he's a guy that has a lot of experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he has a lot of weapons. Mm-hmm. Um, this group, uh, there's a lot of depth. Uh, we're going to be facing at least about five or six receivers this week mm-hmm. uh, that are all explosive, all electric, quick players uh, that have big play uh, potential. Uh, so I think this week should be a great challenge. Uh, we respect our opponents, but you know we're never backing down from anyone. So. It should be a great challenge this week. Kyle, can I ask you one thing? Um, obviously, I, I know you don't want to be in the situation right now with, with the losing streak, but the game last year, if I remember right, at West Kentucky, you guys drove about 80 yards to set it to overtime. I don't think you had any timeouts, and it seemed to really point you guys in the right direction as the season went on. <coughs> you look at this Saturday as an opportunity that it just takes one game and one win to, to get going the direction we want? Yeah, I think this season's independent from last season. Um, I think we got you know different situations now. Um, I mean, last year that was definitely a huge game for us. But I think uh, you know we're worried about ourselves and what we have to do. Um, you know, whatever they present us with on defense or you know their offense, uh, you know we're gonna do whatever we can do to beat them. And uh, you know, so yeah, I think it's independent from last year. But they're definitely gonna be hungry after uh, we know we beat them up there. So they're going to, uh, you know, come down here wanting to win. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great game. Any more? Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you.